This video will cover searching for books at the OCC Library. We will start at the OCC Library website. We'll scroll down just a bit so you can see the menu. And there are many things that you can do here. To search for books, you're going to select search the library. From here, you can search many different things besides books like articles, encyclopedia entries, videos, and more. In this video, we are gonna focus only on books. So we will use the books and videos in the library search. Now let's type our search. We will search for social media and business. From here, I'll select books and videos in the library from the dropdown. This lets you search for books. Notice that the words used for this search are very broad, social media and business. The reason for this is that li library catalogs look for the words that match your search in the book's title and subject. So if you put in a lot of words or a full sentence into the search bar, you may not get many or any results. We came back with about 550 results which is actually quite a lot. Now, not all of these results are going to be books. You may find that some of these are eBooks and that they're streaming videos. To narrow the results down only to books, we're gonna use, come over to the left-hand menu to filter your results and then come down to resource types and select books. It is important to do this because the library catalog will search lots of things, but by clicking on books, we will only get books, which is what we are looking for. You may want to continue to use the filter to revise your results. For example, for our topic on social media and business, we may want books published in the last five years. So we can come down to publication date and change that date and refine results. So let's look at the results. You will notice that as we add more filters, the number of results reduces. So we started at 544 and we're now down to 170 results. These results includes the title of the book, the author, and the year it was published. It also tells you if the book is available and where it is located in the library. Let's first talk about physical books. Most of the books in the library will be in the circulating collection and we'll say circulating books. That indicates that the book are on the second floor of the library. This next number is called the call number. You can think of this as the address of the book within the library. This is the number that you will use to find this specific book on the shelf. So you'll want to write it down or take a picture of it with your phone, and then you'll go to the second floor of the library. Upstairs, you'll find the H section, and then look for HF on the end of the shelf. The number is located vertically on the spine of the book. So this is what that number would look like on the, on the book itself. So first you would look at HF, and when you find those books, then you move down to the next row and look for 5415. And then from there, then you would move to the next row of S93. Typically by about here, you'll be able to find the book that you want. One very cool thing about these numbers is that the books near this book will be on a similar topic. So you may find other books on the shelf that interest you as well. If you have a hard time finding the book, go downstairs and ask the librarian and we will be happy to help you find it. Now let's look at eBooks. If you know that you want eBooks, you can go back to that left menu and select available online. You will notice the number of books continues to drop as we add more filters to the search. From here, select the, the book that you are most interested in. Click on the available online link under the book. If you aren't already logged into the OCC system, you may need to log in using your OCC username and password. 
When you get to the book, click on full text on the left-hand side of the screen. It is going to load the full book for you. You can use the arrows at the bottom of the screen to move to the next page, or you can use the table of contents on the left to help navigate to a chapter that is most interesting to you, or if you know that you're looking for a specific topic, you can search within the book. For example, if we were interested in learning about chatbot, we can search for that and then navigate directly to the, chat, the chapters and the sections on chat box. Depending on the book, you can also download chapters or sections. Not all books allow you to do this, but it's always worth a try. Additionally, you can access the citation for the book or a permalink for the book if you think that you'll be coming back to this. This is very helpful in returning to the book time and time again. Returning to OCC Discovery, if you want to know more about the book, click on the title. This will provide you with a description of the book as well as the title of the chapters. So as you do your initial searching, you can identify whether or not you think the book might be what you're looking for. Anytime you see this quote icon, that indicates that you can get, you can get the citation for the book which allows you to select your citation format and copy it into your document. Make sure to check the citation format that is required in your class and proofread the citation to make sure that it's correct. Now you are ready to search for books in the OCC library. If you have any questions, please contact us. The OCC librarians are here to help you.